hey y'all welcome back to another video your girl is on the road again had to run a few errands today and decided to start this new vlog off feeling good and ready to tackle this new week um i need to go make a return today i need to drop off a bill a payment what else I need to do? I need to pick up some supplies for work this week. And then I believe that's it. I plan on um, making some soup, some chicken soup this week. I'm gonna throw that in the crock pot. I'm actually, um, I already have like my, I end up getting a rotisserie chicken to go with that. So I'm going to do that. And it's still pretty early, so I have time to come back and do that for it to be ready for dinner. So that's what we'll be having for the next couple of days for dinner. I just had I just wanted some, I think after you know coming back from traveling, I wanted to have something hearty, something nourishing, you know, and good. So I'm gonna throw, you know, all kind of vegetables in there and herbs and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna do that. And then what else? I gotta do a grocery. I got a grocery um order that will be being delivered. And so I'll probably show y'all that when it comes. And that's about it. Otherwise, just kind of getting reset and start for this new work week. Getting it knocked out. Hopefully y'all are having a good week so far. I am feeling good about this weather, these temperatures dropping. Finally. Excited about that. I think it was like 67 degrees this morning. Oh, it's winter. <laughs> it's winter when you get 67 degrees, but that was just early, of course. Now it's about 86 degrees, it's supposed to be like 90. But I'm not mad at it. At least we know it's coming. The cooler weather is coming. Um, well, otherwise, I'm gonna head out so I can hurry up and get back. And, um, get my my dinner started so i can get my my day finished so i can chill i'm trying to go ahead and leave out early that way i can be done and back chilling on the sofa okay so i'll probably pick y'all back up when um the grocery order comes okay how about that that's all right with y'all okay i'll see y'all in a few Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. So I'm popping in today with a Timu haul. I'm sure you all have heard of Timu. If you haven't, you must have been under a rock somewhere because it's all over online everywhere, okay? So Timu is a online platform, an online retailer basically, that sells items for affordable prices, okay? So I'm excited to be partnering with them today and showing y'all my small haul of items that I got from Timu. So uh, I got about six or seven items that I wanted to show y'all. I'm excited to open them up. I have not personally used them yet, but I strategically picked things that I know I was going to use. I didn't want to have things just sitting around. And if you've been here for any length of time, you know I love to shop, but I'm a bargain shopper, okay? I like to buy things that are affordable and things that I'm going to put to use. So that's what I kept in mind when purchasing these items from Timu, okay? So let's see where I want to start. Okay, the first item I picked up was this electric rotator scrub brush. I have been seeing these all over the web and I could not wait to get my hands on this particular item. Um, so I'm so excited to try this because this is something that I really need and that I'm planning to use in my um, bathroom with cleaning my tubs and cleaning my showers so let me get this opened really quick i do see that they have six replacement brushes that it comes with 
It has 360 degree smooth motion that it rotates. Um, and it extends 45 inches wide. So I'm sure some of you may have already um, tried this, but it comes in two parts and you just snap it in place like that. And you put whatever attachment on there that you choose to use. I'm probably gonna be using this a lot for the corners of my shower. I'm super excited to use this. I've heard and seen great results from this electric scrubber. So it's gonna save my back muscles. It's gonna save my legs when I'm trying to clean my shower, okay? So yeah, this particular item was $26.98 on the website. So that's the first item that I got. The next item is this cutting board butcher block. It actually still has the film on it, so it looks a little dull right now. So let me remove this film. And again, I actually wanted to, you know, kind of do this on camera with you all so we can see together. So basically you just peel the film off. And And let's see if it has one on this side. Does it? I think it has one more peel. But y'all know how this plastic is. You can't hardly see it. Okay, I found the other side. So you just peel it off like that. And this is what it looks like. So basically you put this on your countertop and you use this as a cutting board. Y'all know I love to cook. I'm always chopping up, cutting up something in the kitchen. So I could not wait to get my hands on this. So I know for a fact that I'm going to use this consistently. I love it. I love it. Now, I do have granite countertops, and, you know, granite granite countertops can pretty much withstand if you cut on, cut on it or uh, scratch on it. But I prefer to use something to where I can protect it. Um, and this is just so clean and sleek, and I just love how it looks. Now, this particular item was $21.99 on the website. So, that was the second item. Okay, the next item I received was a 24-piece uh, gold stainless steel cutlery set. Let me show you what this looked like. This was $10.31. It comes packaged like this, all individually wrapped in plastic. Now, I've been wanting to change over my utensils to gold for quite some time so this is what it looks like I love how long that it is but it looks really good I love the color of it this will go perfect in my dining area It feels sturdy, it's not like super light. It's pretty, pretty heavy. So yeah, I'm excited about this. It came with 24 pieces. It even has this small spoon here that I will probably use for my coffee bar. This little spoon. And again, this one is $10.31 on the website. It's actually dishwasher safe also. I haven't tested that out yet, but I'll be sure to test it out and see how it upstands in the dishwasher. Okay, the next item is this acrylic book holder. Now, I actually seen this in clear as well as black, and it came in these two pieces here. 
And all you do is just put it together like that. And you can take this and sit it on your um, coffee table, on your bookshelf. You sit a book on top of it. It's really cute to decorate or display either a cookbook or a nice um, home interior design book or something like that in your family area. That's what I plan to do with it. So that's why I picked this up. This was $20.49. So I opted to get the black because I thought it would go better with the decor or different areas in my home. Because I'm probably going to move it around and use it in different places. So, yeah. I got this. What's the next item? And then I picked up an aromatherapy wax melting lamp. This one is what it looks like. I picked up this black one. This particular one was $22.49. It came with this plug here to where you can flip the switch on and off. It has a bulb on the inside and it actually came with two additional bulbs. And this area here is pretty large. You can sit a large candle on it. You have a pretty wide space here which I really like that. But I like how this looks. And I plan to use this in my home office. That way, because I have one in my family room already, so that way I can have me a candle in there without having to actually light up a candle. So if you haven't already gotten to wax melts or either wax lamps, I definitely think this is a good start for you. So I love how it looks. I love the design of it. So it's like simple, classic, and sleek. It's not like doing too much. So I really, really like that. Okay, and then the next item I picked up was this bamboo Ziploc bag storage. I love the color on this. It actually matches some drawer organizers that I already have in my drawers. It also came with this signage here so if you want to put your gallon quarts your freezer bag sandwich bag snack bags if you wanted to label it you can this particular um organizer was $24.49 this actually slides out so if you want to use it without this you can or you can slide that in it's pretty sturdy pretty durable and it will fit just right in my drawer so i'm so happy to be able to organize my bags because i keep them in the boxes that they come in but this will help me be able to just really be able to see everything i have and keep it looking nice and aesthetically pleasing okay and then the last item that i picked up was this hat rack now my husband mr allen has a ton of hats and he loves hats so but we hadn't had a way to store them or organize them so I thought of him all the way and myself when I grabbed this because I, you know, I'd rather keep your hats somewhere that you can get to them easily. So this is the hat rack. It has three rows and 24 spaces to hold your hats. So he shouldn't have any problem storing his hats in here. So it has this where you can sit the, the bib of the hat in there. It has these three hooks on here where you can hang it like, I'll probably put it like inside of his closet, um, either on the back of the door or either probably on the wall or something like that. This particular hat rack was $6.99. So it was extremely affordable, extremely affordable to be able to save space. And, and organize his his hats that he loves, his hat collection. So I really, really think this is going to come in handy. You can put baseball hats, fitted caps in here, whatever you choose. So this will be the perfect addition to his hat collection in his closet, okay? So this was the last item that I picked up. I really, really, really enjoyed the pieces that I found. Um, I thought I got some really functional pieces that I can actually use and not just have around the house. That was my main goal with ordering it with them. And I know a lot of people have been questioning, you know, 
the company. They wanted to know, is it somebody who you can really trust? Is it somebody who you can really order from? And I can say from my order, the things that I ordered were worth what I ordered, worth the price, and I feel like it's worth you giving it a try also. So if you're interested in any of these items that I showed you today, you can download the Teemu app through my link in the description box. And I also list it here on the screen. You're able to get a $100 coupon bundle if you use my code, okay? My code will be listed down below as well as listed here on the screen for you. If you want to take advantage of any of these uh, items that I showed you today, or there are several other items that they have on their site, from A to Z, you name it, you think of it, you can find it on Timu's website, okay? So thanks again, Timu, for partnering with me today on this haul. Hey y'all, so I popped in Aldi to really pick up some strawberries and blackberries because I want me a smoothie bowl. And was like, I can't come in here without checking out the Aldi's Fine Owl. This is cute. This reef here for $14.99. And they got a cute uh, woven rug for $7.99. I always love coming in here to see what they got. What's new. A three-in-one vacuum. Hmm. This is my first time seeing they got some armchair and love seat covers for $19.99. Look at this cute little pumpkin if you want to do a craft. I thought about doing some knitting before, but never got into it. Let's see. And they got a candle making kit. That's cute for $6.99. We got the rain jackets. We definitely need those here in our rainy city. Oh, look at this, so cute for the puppies. It's like a coat. And then they have the sweaters for the pups. They got some cute little mules, clogs here. No problem, you're fine. <laughs> And they got some booties here for $7.99. That is not a bad price at all. Oh, this lantern is cute. It's a wood lantern for $9.99. That's really cute. That looks like something. This looks like a high-end lantern. I like that. You wouldn't guess it came from Aldi. Let's see what they have on this side. These fall items that they have. I think I've seen these at another location before. And then they got these cute little door hanger signs. I like this white one better than the black one. Just me. Okay, let's see what the candles are looking like. They got apple blossom and jasmine. Bourbon Wild Mint. Let's see what it smell like. They don't have a lot of them. Okay, this one is very light. But it smells good. Let's see what the bourbon smells like. It's really light too. I can barely smell it. I can barely smell those. So, mm, I wouldn't be getting those. Oh, this is a cute, it's a bed tray. For, how much is that one? Everything is kind of moved around in here, so it doesn't say. I don't know how much that costs. They got a bread maker for 50 bucks. Now look at this. This was my favorite candle last year. Well, this one and one other one. The other one was orange. Pumpin' Honey Crisp. Oh, it smells so good. 
I wonder if they have the orange one though. I love these candles though. Mm. Then I see this oversized beaded garland. It's uh, $9.69. This is really nice. That's really nice. And they also have the wood chains here for $6.99. Those are really nice too. I got this cleaning spoolie, which I use this on my sink for dishes. And I like these Crofton wooden spoons too. Hmm. Okay, okay. This is my first time seeing this combination. I love those uh, gold bears, gummy bears. Alright, let me head out of here so I can get to the house. So I made it out of Aldi. I actually seen a few things that I would really like to come back for. I didn't get it today because I didn't come in here for all that. And I don't want my stuff to be sitting in the car, but, hmm. So yeah, I um, seen some sparkling apple cider. Um, they got a lot of new things out as far as food for fall. So I'll be back, Aldi. Y'all let me know if you have some new favorite finds at Aldi this season, because um, they always have some, some unique things that I end up really liking. Anyway, let me go. I got one more stop before I need to go home to get my groceries. So, see y'all later. Hey y'all, I finally made it back home. I got my grocery order that I wanted to just share with you. I didn't get a ton of things. I just wanted to get a few items for some stuff that I wanted to prepare um, this week, within the next week or so. So, I picked up a few things and just going to show you what I got. We were out of eggs, so I picked up some eggs. I grabbed some dark brown sugar. I picked up some chicken bouillon season. This is the loose powder season. I grabbed some minced garlic. I hadn't had any minced garlic in a while since I ran out of my large jar that I normally get from Sam's or Costco. I picked up some Creole seasoning. I got some Thai style sweet chili sauce i love this stuff so versatile i'm a sauce girl so i'm always grabbing at a sauce <laughs> i picked up some mayo i needed some more parsley so i got two of those i picked up some xanthan gum i grabbed some sweetened condensed milk some bananas i'm actually about to make me what am I going to make me? A smoothie bowl. Then I got some Nilla wafers. If you know, you know that combination. That means something is coming down the chamber. <laughs> I picked up some sweet cream butter. I got some cream cheese. Some vanilla pudding. I got some Ritz crackers. I actually just got one box. For some reason, they put two in there. So I got some Ritz crackers. Then I picked up this box of party size chips. I like to keep these because uh, just a snack that we can grab or having sending these with Mr. Allen for his lunch when he leaves for work. So I grabbed that. So this is my little small haul of things that I picked up from, well, got delivered from the store. So just wanted to show y'all what I got. Hey, so I am uh, getting started on my dinner. I'm making some chicken soup that I'm putting in the crock pot. I have all of my vegetables cut up here. I've already pulled my rotisserie chicken. I chose to use a chicken. I chose to use a rotisserie chicken to make my job quicker. And then here is the soup. I added a little cream in there and some egg noodles, and um, it turned out amazing. If you want to see how I make my soup, I have a video on the channel previously in the cooking and recipes playlist for you to check it out. I just added some fresh parsley on top, but this soup was very, very delicious and hearty. 
what's up y'all i was popping back in i am in here in my studio and i was just kind of trying to break down some boxes and um finish labeling some of my products and decided to pop in and let y'all keep me company while i was in here finishing up um I got all my errands ran for the day. Got my groceries put away. So, um, I'm just kind of in here tying up a few loose ends with some things that I needed to get done. I actually shipped out packages on yesterday. So, if you ordered over the weekend, your package is on the way, possibly halfway to you by now. So thank you so much for placing your orders. I appreciate y'all more than you know for ordering and supporting HD Essentials and believing in, uh, believing in the products and even giving your reviews and honest opinion on the products. I appreciate that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So if you don't know or if you um, are new here, don't know about the products, we actually just restocked the entire website as well as added some new things for fall so um we have a a hair care and skin care product line um of products that i launched about two years ago and i am just so excited to be still working on my products and trying to build and even make it even better the um new products that we'll be adding so I'm gonna tell you all the products that we have. Since we're here, I'm sitting right here and they're in front of me. Um, I'll show y'all the products that I have. Darn, I don't have a butter. I don't have a hair and body butter, but we have a hair and body butter. That was actually one of the first products I started with. The hair and body butter and the herbal oil. But the hair and body butter is a butter base with uh, shea and mango butter. You can use it on your hair and your skin, your scalp. I actually use it on my, the heels of my feet and my elbows this morning. I'm trying to work on lightening my el my um, hyperpigmentation on my elbows. So I'm actually experimenting um, with, I took some before and I wanna have some after pictures of the, um, of using the turmeric and vitamin C scrub on my skin. So, um, that is the hair and body butter then i have this herbal hair oil here i love it the hair and body butter and the herbal hair oil are the first two products i launched i'm so proud of them they did so well here locally with my clients and in the salon and so some of you all has per have purchased it and and you know gave feedback on how you love it and so it has uh, biotin, vitamin E, rosemary oil in it. It's really, really good to nourish your scalp and your hair. So I have this. And then I have a leave-in conditioner. This is the five-in leave-in conditioner. I love it. It has multiple benefits to it. You can use it for detangling, hydration, moisture control, uh, curl definition, and you can use it as a heat protectant. So this is really good on all types of hair, whether you're relaxed, whether you're natural, whether you have locks. I use it on my locks um, to refresh and hydrate those. Um, you can use it on your braids, your protective styles, all of the things. So I love, love, love that this conditioner can do multiple things. So it really can do more than five things, okay? And it smells amazing. It's infused with... Um, uh rose oil and so it smells so good so this is my five and one leave-in conditioner and then i have a foaming mousse it's very moisturizing to help protect your hair um and lock in that moisture on your hair it's really good for um wet set styles for natural hair for relaxed hair you can use it to mold down um, your relaxed hair you can use it to retighten your locks uh, you can use it to define your curls. There are so many things that you can do with the foaming mousse. So I love, love the foaming mousse as well. And of course, I'm going to be biased because it's my product, right? <laughs> then I have the Slick and Shine Pomade. 
this is what it looks like you can use this on locks braids you can use it on your edges um i've used it for um like an edge tamer you can use it to retighten locks you can use it to style your natural hair or your uh relaxed hair um this is really really good for um conditioning and softening your hair as well so it has multiple benefits in this pomade as well if you're not familiar with the pomade it's kind of it's not a gel um it's not as loose as a gel but it's not as firm as a a, a grease so this is the uh, slick and shine pomade you'll love this if you have um natural or relaxed hair what else so these are the hair products and then i recently launched the turmeric and vitamin c scrub and let me get the brown sugar one second so these are the two new fall exfoliating sugar scrubs i have the exfoliating turmeric and vitamin c scrub it's really good uh, for hyperpigmentation, it helps with um, really softening and smoothing your skin out. And this one has a lemon scent, so I love that. And then this is the second newest one. It's called Brown Sugar. It smells like like apple cider. I love it. It's like fall in a jar. So this is this one, and it's again, it, it's the base of it has honey in it. Of course, granulated sugar. I normally keep mine in the shower or either by my sink and I, you know, exfoliate my hands with it. And then in the shower, of course, I exfoliate my body, my legs, especially my legs. I've been working on um, getting like those, they call it like strawberry skin. So getting those hyperpigmentation marks off of my skin. So um, that's what I've used it for. So these are the two new scents. This one is brown sugar and this one is turmeric. And then I have my OG, my OG scents. I only have, I'm making a mess. I only have, um, I don't have any of the sweet citrus here in front of me, but I do have my pineapple and coconut. Love this, this is a favorite um, in the salon, as well as this refreshing mint. Love this, this is also a favorite, it's so, it's like relaxing. It's so uh, spa-like. That's why I love this one. It's a very refreshing minty scent. So that is that. So yeah, I just wanted to show y'all the products since I was in here. Surrounded by them. Um, so I appreciate any of you if you ever um, invested in our company, HD Essentials. I appreciate it. From the bottom of my heart because i work so hard to create and make these products and get them out to all of the clients that need and love them so that is that but outside of finishing up some stuff in here um getting these boxes broke down because our trash runs tomorrow so i always do kind of like a clean sweep before the trash man comes every week so I'm going to break these boxes down and get them ready for Mr. Allen to throw away. And um, that's it. So I want me a, uh, it's time for me to eat lunch. Yeah, it's time for lunch. So I believe I'm going to do me a smoothie bowl. I hadn't had one of those in a while. So I think I'm going to make me a smoothie bowl. I stopped and picked up me some strawberries and blackberries from Aldi. So yeah, that's what I want to do. Make me a smoothie bowl. I almost forgot. So while I'm here, I wanted to update y'all on my lashes. If you, a couple of videos back, I talked about me doing some DIY lashes. And if you can tell, they are still here. It has been seven days today. And my lashes are still here. Now, I did lose one on this eye. I don't know how I lost it or what happened. But I am very impressed. Like, now, the only thing, the only con about having lashes that stay on is, if you're a person like me, I love to really deep clean my eye and wipe it and rub it and not be so cautious and comfortable about it. 
So that's the only downside. But other than that, I have loved and enjoyed just waking up with lashes on. So highly recommend these lashes. I have them linked in my Amazon storefront if you're interested. Now I did an experiment on them. I used the lash and seal that came with it on one eye, this eye, and then on which is the one that came off. And then on this eye, I used um, my normal lash glue, which is Duo, the one in the with the green and white bottle. So seven days, y'all, and it's still holding strong. So. I would recommend it, but now I'm ready to take them off. They're so cute, but I'm ready to take them off. So I can really screw up my eye. <laughs> so yeah, definitely try those lashes out. Or if not the brand that I use, any brand in that glue. I think you'll like it. Save you a few coins from going to the, uh, the salon and getting it done. But anyway, what else I want to tell y'all? Was that it? Outside of that, finally being able to settle down and decorate for fall just a little bit. Again, I told y'all I'm not doing too, too much. Um, I just wanted to add a few small little touches to the house. So I got the salon decorated and out the way. So I want to um, get the house in the fall vibes i purchased a couple of fall wax melts and candles so i'm excited to put those in and get those started i hadn't um lit my fall candle i actually still have my summer candle burning in my kitchen but um yeah y'all so you'll be seeing hopefully soon me get the house together for fall maybe within the next maybe next give me a week Give me a week because I actually have to work this weekend and so I may not feel like doing it this weekend but um come on Max Max you want to speak to the people but yeah I may do it next weekend y'all let me tell you about your friend let me tell you about your friend Max I don't want no kiss I don't want a kiss he got in trouble y'all this boy so when we were on our trip he had to stay with my brother and sister-in-law and they have a puppy of course molly you've seen molly on the channel before so um i was nervous about taking them over there because i know when dogs get together that are not used to being together they cuss up so when i got back i was like so how did he do guess what max did max had them pee all over the house so he got us that. So I got to pay a cleaning fee. I asked him, I said, what's the cleaning fee? <laughs> they said two rolls, two rolls of paper towels and some cleaning spray. <laughs> Look at him. He was so dirty, y'all, when I got him. So we had to take a bath. I had to give him a little, a little trim, a little haircut. But it's official. He can't stay at nobody's house. He, he's officially a home. He is a home. Say, I'm a homebody, mama. Say, I'm just a homebody. I'm just a homebody, puppy. <laughs> so, y'all, he cut up when he was gone. I was disappointed in him. I was disappointed. So, that was his report from when we was on our vacation. <laughs> Don't yawn in the people's face. Don't yawn in their face. He's so cute. But he's so cute, y'all. I can't even be mad at him. He's so cute. I can't even be mad at the baby too long. You gonna end the vlog? Is you gonna end the vlog for the people? Is you gonna end the vlog? Say, I'm gonna end the vlog, mama. Say, I'm gonna end the vlog. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm about to go fix me some lunch. Uh, and chill for the rest of the day, okay? I appreciate y'all for watching this vlog as always. Thank y'all so much. Um, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Okay. Say bye y'all. Bye y'all. <laughs> uh -huh.
had a dream last night Did everything I never do in real life I stepped into a room, told everyone to be quiet Cause I had something to say, blew everybody away Wear whatever I want Dressed in a gown, everybody's like Why, where you going, no special Just going to the store, I think I'd have it all Tell you why I've been 